A Fox News contributor, Newt Gingrich. This poll is pretty staggering, and this is one of many polls. This is now poll after poll, very consistently. We'll, we'll look at African-American voters first. But careening towards a historic performance among black voters, the likes of which we've not seen in six decades. At this time in 2020, Donald Trump had 7 percent of the, of the African-American vote. Now he's up to 21 percent. But here's the worst part for Biden is that if you look at his advantage, Biden's advantage over Trump among black voters under 50, that's great, except he's down 43 points from his 80-point lead among the same demographic at this point in the, in the 2020 campaign. Now, uh, I don't think every poll could be that off to you, because this is dramatic. Well, I mean, first of all, I think we shouldn't assume that black Americans are dumb or insensitive or incapable of learning. Uh, they're looking at grocery store prices they can't afford, and they know it's Biden's fault. They're looking at millions of illegal immigrants coming into their neighborhoods, taking their jobs, uh, threatening their families with violence, and they know Biden is responsible. Uh, you turn around and they know the schools aren't working despite all the money we pour into the teachers' unions, and they know the Democrats are responsible. They look at big cities where Democrat after mayor, Democrat mayor after Democrat mayor is corrupt, incompetent, and incapable of serving their interests. So what you're beginning to see is a movement that says, you know, what have we got to lose by trying out Donald Trump? Uh, I think he will get a higher vote than any Republican since Eisenhower, and may in fact exceed Eisenhower, because the momentum for the next four months, I think, is all going to be in, by, in Trump's favor uh, as people talk to each other. If you'll notice, while, while Trump is at 21 and people are saying, boy, that's good, Biden has collapsed. Uh, the number of Demo black Democrats and, for that matter, Latino Democrats who are now undecided and potentially could switch to Trump are breathtaking. And that's why you're beginning to see places like Minneapolis. You know, I mean, Minnesota, the last poll, uh, Trump's up four. Well, if, if he carries Minnesota by any margin, he's on the verge of a 1980 Ronald Reagan blowout of Jimmy Carter. And I don't see practically how the Democrats offset reality. Let me ask you, but it's not just African Americans, it's Hispanic Americans. It is, it's young people. I mean, our, our old mutual friend, James Carville, who I like. He's crazy, but I like him. Uh, you've debated him, I'm sure, over the years. I've debated him. Fun guy to hang out with, but he's crazy. But he's not as crazy as the, the, the modern, you know, radicalized Democratic Party, and he's trying to bring some sanity back to him. They'd be smart to listen to them, but they're not going to. When you look at all of those demographics combined, it seems like this election, if it comes down to Biden's open borders, if it comes down to the economy stupid, if it comes down to simple law and order versus defund, dismantle, no bail laws, if it comes down to America abdicating its role on the world stage as the leader of liberty and freedom and surrendering in the war on terror, like in the case of Hamas, I, I, I don't see how this election could even be close. I mean, but I guess it will be. I don't know whether that'll be close. I mean, first of all, as I've pointed out on your radio show earlier, uh, when, the, when the debate's done next week, whether Biden does well or Biden does badly, the following day people go to the grocery store and his support collapses again. I don't care how many million dollars Biden raises, his advertising can't overcome the reality of going to the gas station, not being able to afford to buy a house, not being able to find a good job, learning that uh, immigrants now are getting more jobs than, than Americans. Uh, and all these things fit in, and people talk to each other way beyond television and way beyond social media. And the conversation's almost all bad for Joe Biden. It really is. All right. Uh, do you expect jacked up Joe or regular mumbling, mumbling, fumbling Joe at the debate? I expect I, jacked I up Joe. I ask no. He will, he will be aggressive. He'll be jacked up and he'll go like crazy. And I just hope that Trump can stay very calm, very Reagan-like, 
let Biden be a fool and just endure it and not counterattack. I will tell you, it's very simple. They're going to go in with one strategy to piss off Donald Trump. He doesn't have to take the bait, right. for sure. All right, Newt Gingrich, great to see you. Oh, happy birthday. It's Newt Gingrich's birthday. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.